We're getting ready to go camping, and I'm prepping up one of our favorite camping meals. Hey guys, I'm Jara with Wicked Prepared. Our big annual family camping trip to beautiful Baxter State Park is sneaking up on us really quickly. And I'm realizing I've got to get my butt in gear getting the food prepared for our trip. Now I know some people just throw a hot dog on a stick and open up a bag of chips, but that's not really how we roll. One of my favorite parts of camping is planning the menu. I love cooking different types of camping meals. I love doing packet meals and doing things on a stick. We've done meatball subs on a stick. We've done all different sorts of things. Have you ever cooked outdoors with a Dutch oven? Several years ago, I was introduced to Dutch oven cooking by one of my son's Cub Scout leaders. We were on a camp out and he was making a peach dump cake. And I gotta tell you what, having a warm, freshly baked dessert out in the middle of the woods on a camp out was like heaven. He showed me all about how to use the Dutch oven and how to cook with it, and I was just enthralled. So I went immediately out and bought myself a Dutch oven to use for camping that year. If you're not familiar with the kind of Dutch oven that I'm talking about, this is one of mine. It's been through a lot, it's pretty beat up, we do use it a lot, but it's made out of cast iron, so it's, it's really heavy. You can see that the lid has this raised lip around it. I don't know if you can see that. It's like recessed and it has a raised lip. And then if you look at the bottom, it has these three legs that hold it up probably a couple, two, three inches off the ground. So basically what you do is you start up some charcoal briquettes and you place the charcoal briquettes on the top of the Dutch oven and underneath of the Dutch oven. And there's usually a formula for how many bricks, how many briquettes you place where. You can actually get a chart that will tell you what temperature, like 350 degrees, 375 degrees, and how you um, accomplish that with how many briquettes you put on the top and how many briquettes you put under the bottom. So now I had my very own Dutch oven and I had the Cub Scout Leaders dump cake recipe, but I wanted to see what else was out there. So I started looking on Pinterest and looking on the internet to find different types of recipes for the Dutch oven. As I was researching different recipes for the Dutch oven, I found something really cool. I found that you can even stack multiple Dutch ovens and cook more than one thing at the same time using the briquettes on top of the second oven, of the first oven, to be the base for the second oven that sets right on top, and you put more briquettes on top of that. I have even done two Dutch ovens stacked with foil packs of a vegetable on top, roasting on the top layer of coals. I think in this picture I had um, asparagus packets roasting on top, on the very top of the Dutch oven stack. We often do dinner and dessert, you could also do something like chili and cornbread. There's endless possibilities. Another thing about Dutch ovens is that they're really great for preparedness. If you think about it, you've got a great off-grid cooking solution. That's why we, we do store, in our preps, we store plenty of charcoal briquettes, but you can also use a Dutch oven right over regular campfire coals. I've done that when I you know, have had bad luck with my charcoal and either it doesn't start or it goes out. Sometimes I've forgotten something I really needed like the charcoal so or you know so I've either done it with campfire coals or I've added campfire coals in with my charcoal if I found that I didn't have enough because I tend to get impatient I don't want to wait so I keep adding more and more briquettes or more and more coals to my Dutch ovens to raise up the temperature and get them really cooking one of the recipes that I found while I was looking for Dutch oven recipes was this recipe for Mexican twist we made this the first time and it was an instant hit it was easy to make and everyone loved it. The kids really liked it. It's a very kid-friendly meal. It's a one-dish pasta recipe that is very kid-friendly. It has, you know, taco flavors, Tex-Mex flavors. The first year I made this dish, I was getting all the ingredients ready to take on our camping trip, and I found I could put almost everything into a gallon-sized Ziploc bag. And what I did was I just printed the recipe right out and put it right in the bag and put all the ingredients into the bag, except the hamburg. It called for a pound of ground beef and it actually calls for browning the ground beef with an onion right in the Dutch oven over the coals. I didn't want to deal with the raw hamburg so what I did was took a bag, a one pound bag of my cooked hamburg out of the freezer and just threw it in the cooler. But I really wish that I could have all the ingredients all together in my one Ziploc bag that I just had to pull out of my camping tote. So I had a brainstorm this year that if I use my freeze-dried ground beef I could have everything together in one bag. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this bag together and I'll show you how I do it. And we're going to have everything in one bag ready to pack in the camping tote. This dish is called Mexican Twist and it comes from a website called Everyday Dutch Oven that has all sorts of different Dutch oven cooking recipes. The ingredients are pretty simple. We're going to use some ground beef, which of course we're going to be using our freeze-dried ground beef. It does call for a chopped onion, but I tend to leave that out because we have one kiddo who doesn't really love onion in her food, so it's just easier for me to leave it out. But if I wanted to include it, I would just use my freeze-dried chopped onion and I would put it right in the same bag with the ground beef. Um, we also need a can of whole kernel corn. A can of diced tomatoes. I am using petite diced tomatoes. I like to use that because the kids don't notice the chunks as much when it's the petite diced. We need a couple of packets of taco seasoning and some rotini pasta. That's the twist part of it. Now I like to reuse things when I can. So I usually keep the baggie with the recipe right inside my camping stuff and I reuse them each year. In fact, I even have the baggie, the smaller baggie that I keep the pasta in, I still have saved. So first we're going to measure out, we need 10 ounces of pasta. And I'm going to use, this is my handy dandy old kitchen scale that I have had since my college days. So this is very old. I got this out of the Betty Crocker catalog. Does anybody remember that? And saving the points that you clipped off of the food. So let's measure out 10 ounces, 10 ounces of pasta. And that looks good. That looks like about 10 ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into my quart size Ziploc baggie. Go ahead and seal that up. And next, we're going to do the Hamburg. Now, it calls for a pound of Hamburg. I'm going to do two cups, which is probably just under a pound, but I find that that's a good way to cut down on the cost of any meal. I tend to put a little bit less of whatever the meat is that it calls for. So this is a half cup measure, so I'm going to scoop out four of these. One, and just about empty this out. Two, three. I can be a little bit generous in my scoops since I know I'm going to end up with just under a pound worth. So there we go. Might want to flatten that out. Get as much air out as we can, whoops, and zip that up. So now we can just take our bag and put our ingredients in. Got our can of corn, our can of tomatoes. I'm going to take the ground beef next, slide it right down in there the taco seasoning packets can slide right in with the cans and now the pasta and just take a look at the recipe make sure we got everything and we did and I'm just gonna slip this recipe right in the bag with all the ingredients and now I'm ready to seal this up And here is everything we need for this meal right in this bag. So all we do is take out this bag, add all the ingredients into the Dutch oven along with four cups of water, and then we'll get the coals uh, on the top and on the bottom and get it cooking. And before you know it, we will have a complete meal. So that's one of our family's favorite camping meals. Now we're definitely planning on making some videos while we're camping, so I'll make sure to video the process of cooking that. 
so I can show you guys all how it came out. We have a lot of different Dutch oven recipes we love to make. We do the dump cakes. We do dishes like this. We do, there's a chocolate, double chocolate monkey bread that we love, that everyone loves, that's delicious. So we'll be sure to make some videos and show you how we do some of those things. Because learning how to cook with a Dutch oven and some coals is a really great off-grid cooking method to have in your back pocket. I'm Jara with Wicked Prepared. Survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time.